All right, today I'm gonna show you how to release two muscles in the front of your body that get really tight from sitting and contribute to a ton of low back pain. So these two muscles are called the psoas and the iliacus, and they both run here and here. And I'm gonna demonstrate on Quinn today on how to massage these for some back pain relief. So first things first is the psoas muscle. So what we're actually gonna do is use the ramp portion of the claw, and we're gonna put it across the whole body and have the ramp dig right above our waistline. Um, a good target for the psoas is right between the belly button and the hip bone, about halfway between right above the waistline. So this is how it's gonna look. We're gonna be laying on it like this, and there shouldn't be much pressure over here because this should be doing all the work. All right, that looks pretty good so far. So yeah, Quinn put it right on that psoas muscle. And as you can see, he's leaning his body more towards this ramp portion because that's what's gonna be actually doing the active massage work. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. One level we have, or one option we have for a little different angle, a little more pressure is to bring this knee up, this opposite side knee up. So if the claw looks like this, you have this knee up, and then the massage is sitting right here. So yeah, Quinn's working a little bit. Another thing that I advise is breathing really deep into the belly. So really deep inhales, but pushing the claw out on the inhale, and then like sinking into the claw on the exhale. And doing that a couple times will just really open up any hip flexor tightness that's caused by psoas in this area. So that's the first motion. The second one I'm gonna have you do is called the, or the second muscle to massage is the iliacus, and that one's right on the inside of the hip. Uh, so how to target this one is we're gonna use the trigger portion of the claw and we're gonna dig it right on the inside of the hip. Like if you feel with your thumb or your fingers, you have that muscle on the interface of your hip and when you sit all day, it's super tight, causes a lot of problems. So we're going to massage kind of like this where um, you're gonna be rotating your body and letting this pretty much dig inside of the face of your hip. So. Quinn's laying on it right now. It looks like he has good placement. So with this one, I actually like to rock back and forth a little bit. So yeah, kind of like you're, you're tilting, trying to get this motion to happen with the claw. He's pretty good at that. Uh, and for a little bit more pressure, one thing we can do is lock out this glute and straighten this knee. And what this is gonna do is just, all this pressure that was on this leg is gonna go right onto your iliacus. And by engaging this glute, this will actually help your hip flexors relax because the glutes and hip flexors are antagonist muscles. So like triceps, biceps, they do opposite functions. So when the triceps engage, biceps relax. When the glutes engage, hip flexors relax. So if you can get this turned on, you'll have a lot more success here. And uh, one other dynamic motion we can do is called the windshield wiper. And that is bringing up this leg and weaving it back and forth. And what that's gonna do is rotate your hips so that the claw really digs into that interface of where the iliacus is. So pretty much any tightness that you have in the iliacus is gonna get just destroyed by this motion. So yeah, those are the two movements. If you're tight from sitting, try this one out. Uh, make sure to get both sides because when you're sitting, unless you're sitting like this all day, uh, you're probably gonna have tightness on both sides. So try this one out, stay loose.